Okay, so I figured um, my numbers were at like I think it was a uh, 479,000 or 78,000 um, for the bingo hall to just for the payout for the bingos that I wanted which were the $100,000 cover off, a couple of $50,000 games, some $25,000 games, um, $15,000, $10,000, $8,000, $5,000, $1,000 and games. And that would also be able to cover for like some of the free bingos. Um, for the like hour session before the bingo actually starts. Um, so on that an hour before. I think it's like two hours before or something like that. Um, either way it goes. I figured if I did that for each county in Kentucky, 120 counties, that um, budget for the bingo halls so that way they could actually participate in that first before they decide to advertise to the other states for Saturday and Sunday um, would be $57,600,000. Um, so if they were going to do that twice a year, that would, because that's just for one. So if they do that twice a year, my math, let me see. That would be, okay, that'd be 115 million. $200,000 if they do it twice a year and that way because um, the late uh, the lowest fee for them to be able to enter into the bingo um, is I think $101 but that also comes with a buffet style food and I think it's like three tickets for drinks or something like that um, now with that that's just for the a single pack I don't know if I added a computer in there. I think it's just for like a single pack or a double pack, something like that. Um, of course, the free bingos ahead of time. So that way other people can get in there and attempt to win to be able to get into the main bingo hall if they don't have the money to afford that. Um, so those would be like advanced tickets. I would say that they would advertise that at least three months in advance for some people that may be working on a budget like myself if I was working on a budget which I am of $949 a month I think I would probably try and save like $30, $40 a month to um, try and get there if I knew about it at least three, four months in advance you know um, and also go to the free bingo to see if I can win a pack and maybe buy use that money that I saved to buy a computer or something like that. I don't know. But what I'm saying is that would be a better option, a better choice. Um, but hopefully those jobs will be out a little bit sooner. But in order, I think, in order to kick off the job thing, the bingo session should go first. So, and then with that, for those two events per year, pool tab player, uh, not players, pool tab salespeople will be employees. So they will be getting paid off of the NCS and NGS pay. Um, reason being, that way we can kind of stop some of the foolery of people sticking money in their pockets, especially for those events. I can't control what everybody else does at their other bingo halls or anything like that. But that's just to try and make sure that all profits are there. Um, and also to help them out because that money would probably make sure that we have people that are willing and ready to help set up, be there to maintain everything and not be like, huh, I gotta do this bingo. It's more like, ooh, I'm ready to go help work because I got. I'm getting paid, <laughs> ready to go, and this is going to help me pay off this, 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 maybe go on a vacation or something like that. So, you know, trying to relieve a little bit of stress. That will work. That will work. Um, so, I'd like to see it happen. And then, possibly, you know, make it three 
but one of them actually be at like Freedom Hall or maybe even four times a year. Do one at Freedom Hall and then one at UK um, over there at their stadium or something. And that way we could give like 10% um, of the profits to them or um, or do some type of deal for them if they have so many students work we'll pay the students so many and then well you know I don't know it could help some of those students out that are like struggling anyways just saying just saying I'd like to do it four times a year though but with it being four times a year I would include more of the college students on the campus to try and see if they could actually either work the being hard or play and of course invite their family members too so they can enjoy some family fun together and with some of their schoolmates <laughs> you never know of course me if I also did it I'd probably do like the cake wheel put that there do the um, the spinning thing that's sort of like roulette but where they put like the dimes, nickels, quarters on there. No dollar things on it. Um, well, yeah, maybe a dollar. Anywhere from, the bets would be anywhere from like a nickel to a dollar. That's been the will. And then whatever money, if a number wins, they win all that money that's on that board. So, I mean... I've got nothing but time. All I need is the money to, and I can put this stuff together or we can buy it. I mean, there's nothing for me to sit here and paint up some boards and put numbers on them with stencils and put the lacquer shellac over it or what do you call that stuff? A uh, varnish over it. Either way it goes. Because that just gives me more jobs <laughs> for not just me but for other people to do. Although I would like something kind of nice and fancy. So I'd probably like somebody else to design it, really. Um, not just your old plain standard wood. Something a little bit more where you go, ooh. But that also can be portable that you can take but sturdy. All right.